Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is difference between contract costing and job costing. You have already understood the topic contract costing and job costing. So now it will be very easy to make out the differences between contract costing and job costing. Let's start the discussion on this topic. Points of differences between contract costing and job costing. Number one, cost unit. In contract costing, each contract is treated as cost unit. And in job costing, each job is treated as cost unit. In contract costing, they take the contract of construction of building, dam, bridges, etc. So here, contract is considered as cost unit. And in job costing, they take order or job from the customer. So, each job is treated as cost unit. Second one, place of work. Con in contract costing, the work is to be done at the construction area or at the site. But in con job costing, it is to be done in factory premises. The production of goods or the manufacturing of products, it is to be done at the factory. Third one, size of work. It is large in size. In contract costing, it's all about the civil engineering work, that is construction of dam, bridges, etc. So it is large in size. Job costing, it is smaller. In job costing, what they do? They take the order of printing the cars or uh, any uh, garage work or making the furniture. So all these are small in nature. Fourth one, applicable to industry. So now we have to understand that this contract costing and job costing is applicable to which type of industry. Contract costing, it is applicable to civil engineering industry. The industries which are engaged in the construction work or any infrastructure activities like construction of dam, bridges, roads, etc. So the company who are engaged in the civil engineering work, they adopt contract costing method. Job costing, the industries which are engaged in the manufacturing of products or providing the services. So these types of industries, they adopt job costing method. Hope you understood the point. Next is calculation of profit. In contract costing, profit can be calculated on incomplete contract also. So in contract costing, it's not like that. First they have to complete that contract, then they will calculate the profit. No, if a part of that contract or the portion of that contract is completed means they can calculate the profit. But here in job costing, first they have to complete that order or job. Then they will go for calculating the profit. Sixth one, number. The number of contracts are usually small. And in job costing, the numbers of jobs are usually large. In contract costing, it's all about the big contracts. To complete that contracts, it takes more than one year. So they take a small number of contracts. In job costing, it's all about the manufacturing the goods, production of goods. So they, they can take the a large amount of contracts or a large amount of order. Seventh one, contract in contract costing, Pricing is influenced by the specific clauses of the contract. So in contract costing, the price of the contract, how they will fix on the basis of clauses of the contract. Or for some projects or for some contract, they will go for tender 
asking for the tender and quotation you may be have read in the newspaper tenders for particular contract or asked quotation on that particular contract so on the basis of the clauses of contract or going for tender and quotation they fix the prices of the contract but here in job costing the prices will be fixed on the basis of individual condition and general policies of the organization so different customer different requirements so according to that job or according to that order the prices of the job will be fixed and the last point is calculation of profit or loss in contract costing what we have to do we have to prepare contract account to find out the profit or loss on each contract so in contract costing what we have to do we have to prepare the contract account to find out the profit or loss on each contract in job costing what we have to do we have to prepare job cost sheet we have already solved problem on this topic in job costing we have to prepare job cost sheet to find out the profit or loss on each job got so all these are the eight differences between contract costing and job costing number 1 cost unit second place of work third size of the work fourth applicable to industries fifth one calculating the profit sixth one the numbers of contracts or orders they are taking seven fixing the prices of the contract and job and the last one is calculation of profit and loss so these are the differences between contract costing and job costing hope you got the topic if you have any doubt you can let me know in the comment section okay and for more such videos do like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching my videos